So there are a couple of different ways that you can run foundation models on AWS. On one side, you have raw EC2 compute, right? You can provision a big ol' instance with a couple of GPUs and you can say, well, I wanna load the model on there, I wanna manage everything myself, I wanna deal with all of the inference, I wanna deal with all of the connectivity, all of the security groups, all of that good stuff. The next thing along that spectrum of kind of trading DevOps tax for uh, managed compute would be moving on to SageMaker. Within SageMaker, there's a thing called SageMaker Jumpstart, which you can think of as a bit of a model hub. Foundation models are accessible through this model hub. Within SageMaker Jumpstart, I can provision anything like Falcon 40B or Llama 2 or any of the other foundation models that are available on Hugging Face, and I can go and put those onto a SageMaker compute instance. And SageMaker will manage the underlying compute for me. It will provide for me a very nice endpoint that I can invoke. Uh, I can put it into my code and access these foundation models over an HTTP interface. I can even fine tune those models within SageMaker Jumpstart, add whatever examples I might need to add or whatever additional training context would be useful for the particular scenario that I'm in. Then we have Bedrock. Bedrock is a way where I just have an API that talks to a foundation model and I get metered, I get charged on not the underlying compute, not the number of requests, but on the number of input tokens, meaning how much I've put into the prompt and into the, the thing that I'm sending to the model, and on the number of output tokens, which is how much I'm getting back from the model. It's typically metered in things like millions of tokens. Each of the different models that are in Bedrock have a different cost for input tokens and output tokens. So you can optimize your throughput and your, uh, your usage of these services in different ways. So what does this all mean when you put it all together? Well, along this entire spectrum, you're trading DevOps and MLOps tax, meaning work that you as the human have to go and do to maintain these services and these underlying compute instances for ease of use. So Bedrock ease of use is way at the top. Then we have SageMaker along here, and then we have EC2 on the bottom. Different customers are gonna take advantage of different parts of this. Some customers may use SageMaker or EC2 in one place and use Bedrock in another. It really depends on the entities, the access patterns involved in the use case. Uh, and I hope that gives you a good idea for how to go and approach figuring out when should I use SageMaker or when should I use Bedrock.